Examining the conversation between Jack Posobiec and Tucker Carlson, it's clear they are delving into the perceived insincerity and commitment of Democrats to democratic values. This discussion highlights serious concerns about the integrity of the political landscape, which is often seen as convoluted and opaque. As someone who's thought for the last few years that this was not a democracy, it's an oligarchy, um, you know, the real business conducted in the shadows, shielded from public scrutiny by lies and classification laws. Um, you know, I've thought all that for a while because it's clearly true. But to see that all revealed, they just took the mask off. So what, what is shocking, seeing, what you're seeing is a layer being pulled back and the poor is never revealed. So in the intelligence community, you would, you would say, all right, if your cover is blown or you've got an issue with your cover, you've got an issue with our identity, whatever it is, an oper someone's asking questions about the operation. You never come out and say, well, you got me. I'm CIA. Yep, yep, yep. Langley's in your, no. What you would do is that you would, you would peel back a layer and say, okay, you know, I may have lied about this thing, but, but, but here's what's really going on. But you never get to the full truth. So think of it as layers of an onion, for example. So you never get to the core. Just one peel comes off, and now we're going to go with that. So the peel that's coming off right now is, yes, Leviathan does have to show itself in order for this move to take place. And that's what's happening. So this idea that you live in, that they, that they promote a lot more than Republicans promote, by the way, that we live in a democracy and the people are the ultimate arbiters of sovereignty and justice in America. And we're fighting to protect our democracy. By the way, we're protecting our democracy from Donald Trump, who's the biggest threat to democracy. But this guy, well, we don't like him anymore. So we're just going to remove him and we're going to pull his money and we're going to pull his delegates. And then actually, the, to me, the most, uh, the most interesting thing that I see is when you watch all these these delegates, all these delegations are coming out now. North Carolina has decided they're behind Kamala Harris and New York says they're behind Kamala Harris and each delegation starts going. This is like watching the election results in North Korea because what do you mean the delegates are suddenly for Kamala Harris? The delegates were voted for by the people of the Democrat Party. Like 14 million people or something voted in this election and suddenly their votes don't matter anymore. Posobiec's comments to Carlson can be seen as a sharp critique of the Democratic Party's inner workings. While the party champions democracy and transparency, his remarks suggest a glaring hypocrisy, painting Democrats as manipulators of the election process. The stark comparison to North Korea is a powerful image that resonates deeply, suggesting that Democratic leaders are more interested in maintaining control than upholding true Democratic principles. Their conversation underscores themes of authenticity, power, and truth, touching on the troubling notion that peeling back layers of rhetoric reveals no core truth, but rather highlights the manipulation of reality by those in power. This dialogue echoes a profound crisis in the integrity of democratic systems and the authenticity of political leadership, stirring anxiety and disillusionment. Viewers might feel a sense of betrayal and disillusionment, as the comparison to North Korea acts as a potent rhetorical tool invoking fear and anger by likening the Democrats' actions to those of authoritarian regimes. This strategy is designed to deepen public skepticism and distrust towards the Democrats, tapping into emotional triggers to bolster narratives of illegality and manipulation. The public's reaction to Posobiec's remarks is likely to be deeply polarized. Many will see this conversation as a justification of their distrust towards the Democratic Party, reinforcing their beliefs about corruption and undemocratic behavior.